Hello! Today I'm here with my makeup collection and you are not going to see my face today, I think. So, we are going through all this today and also some drawers that I have that I have here and also this drawer where I have some makeup but I think we're just going to start with maybe we should start with a drawer because that's maybe not the most fun thing so we're going to start with this drawer this is how the drawer is looking but I think we can start with the brushes so here I have most of my face brushes I have my free not sponges, my power puffs from Linda Holberg. I love those. I need to watch them, but yeah. And here I have all my face <laughs> brushes. So I have tried to have them organized, but I have so many, so I, it's no organized at all. The ones that I use the most is in the front, and my favorite brand when it comes to face brushes is of course Linda Holberg. I have this one which is 3010 that I love and then I have some 306. I use this 3010 for powder and these for highlight. I love those. I also have a Sigma one that I really really love and then this one I don't use that much. <laughs> then the rest that I really love is from Real Techniques, so it's like a powder brush, a blush brush, and this I use for contour, I love it, and this I love for blush as well. So these are the brushes that I use the most for my face, and I, I've tried to have them organized, but it's like, <laughs> and I'm trying to do my best, but I don't have autofocus on my camera, so I hope this works. If you go here, I have some base products, it's primers. Uh, from Western Wild and from Linda Holberg and no I haven't decluttered all my Wet and Wild but I usually don't use it on camera. Here I have a backup here I have a backup of a concealer from Colourpop an eyesh no a mascara primer two highlighters that are in a super cool package and there you can see me but they are so hard to store. I have some more eyebrow gel and eyeliner and then here I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade. I have Sharpener from Linda Holberg. This works so good with her crayons. Some eyeshadow primers and a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. Some more sharpeners an eyebrow thing from Colourpop and here I have my foundation that I use now and this whitening drops from H&M that I use to my foundation because I'm too pale for this and then here in the drawer here I have my powders I have three loose powders this one that I use is my favorite from Lumine Linda Holberg and RCMAs then I have a shiny powder from Eden Minerals. I don't use this that much, but it's a really nice shimmer blush powder. Here I have three from Colourpop highlighters. This is my absolute favorite. This is Lunch Money. I love it. I have NYX and UA. And in the back, I have this taupe. It's actually blush, but I use it for contour from NYX. This one from Kat Von D. Thunderstruck as an highlight. And two powder from Makeup Store. And here I have from Wet n Wild, their Moon Tears. I love this one. But then Wet n Wild are shit, so you know the whole story. I have my Ofra one. I have my Pixie one that I really love, but I can only use this shade. And then I have my blushes. So I have from Sleek, The Balm, Makeup Store, The Balm, The Balm, Makeup Revolution. This is actually really good. It's a shimmery blush. Bang Bang You're Dead. I really like it. They are called Vivid Baked Blush. 
this one from Milani. Love this. This is Bella Bellini. And then a baked blush from Kix. And that is what I have in my drawer. So these are like face products, brushes and my current base. So that was all for that drawer. Now we go up to the table. So if we start over here, I have my brush cleaner. Love this. I have my two I have my two sponges that I use now. Okay, how am I going to do this? I don't know. And then in this one I have my sprays and some other things. So I have the spray that I use now, which is this one. I hated it first, but I really like it and now it's almost empty. So this is from Revolution. I have some like hydration spray from Makeup Store. Don't like that that much. I have my primer that I use the most from Smashbox. A setting spray from Isadora that I don't like to use as a setting spray. So this I use to spray my eyeshadows. I have sunscreen spray from Body Shop. Love it. I have, have my little fan that I got from my mother when she was in China. I have, this is one of my favorite mists from Body Shop. It is a mandarin energizing face mist. It's a, to give you glow. Love this one. Next to setting spray. Love it. I'm going to open this when this one is empty. And then I have some from Lumiana. This is an primer that is going to give you some glow and this I don't really know what it is it's a beauty serum I think it's like to have a very light base but it's too dark for me so I never use it but I have it there either way and then I have this little container and this is from H&M and here it started out that I have the palettes that I haven't tried yet but now it's I need to buy more storage for my palettes so here I have palettes I just need them to fit somewhere so here I have all my monochromatic palettes from Colourpop that I'm doing a palette bingo with I have this dreamy palette from Nabla I haven't used it yet I'm going to. <laughs> I have the Dragon Child from Menagerie. Feral Palette from Menagerie as well. And this Whale Song. I think this is my favorite from Menagerie. I love it so, so much. Especially like this Kelp one and this Plankton. My favorites. And I love the packaging. I love whales. Then I have the Poison Garden because I am doing a video with this soon. Maybe it's already up, I don't know. And then the Ace Pate Oceanic. This is also like one of my absolute favorite palettes right now. And this I'm going to do palette bingo with, so that's why it's in here. But as I said, I need to buy more storage because it's a little bit tight right now. Okay, and over here on my table just have my Infinite palette. I use this cigar for my brows every day. And this is my brushes and my eyebrow wax. So they are just lying on the table, mostly on the dining table, but now they are here. And then a little over here I have a mirror. If you skip over here, I can just... I have three blushes from NYX. I love those. I talked about them in my worst favorites. I have my Moondust palette from Urban Decay because I wanted to use it more. Haven't used it a single time. <laughs> then I have my two melt stacks. I have them on each other and this I have Love Sick stack and the Radioactive stack. And then over here I have my pens that are like makeup store or my Linda Holberg and NYX and from H&M as well, I think, yeah. H&M's pens are really, really good. Then here I have all my Colourpop pens. So I have some of the older ones, or maybe all of them look like this. I don't know. The older ones and the newer ones that are like the whole color shabam. 
and then a little bit here I have my small brushes that I don't use that often like my eyeliner brush some extra eyebrow brushes and here I have the brushes that I use the most and I like only using these from BH Cosmetics and Linda Holberg and some from Real Techniques and that is what I have on the table but I think that we maybe should go through this big acrylic with palettes and I'm just going to show you some of the palettes so in this big acrylic I have so so many palettes and I have just, just like they need to fit somehow but now they are not fitting at all so I need to buy some more storage but we can start with one that is just lying on top I have all my free Kaleidos I love those palettes these are some of my absolute favorite palettes of my whole collection I love this so so much it's the sci-fi green and also this astro pink I love them so much I love the last one as well but these two I think are my favorites from Kaleidos so far and I have the Divinity palette from Strobe I haven't used it that much but it's coming a video on this in not such a long time so this one is gorgeous I'm not going to show all of the palettes but just some of my absolute favorites this creepy cute love this this is one of my absolute favorite palettes in my whole collection and what do we have more I have so many from a blush tribe I have the Hasina the Munasa this is really good I like this palette but like the packaging is it's so hard for me to like take this out and use it because the packaging is so shiny and I think it takes all of the like attention from the shadows this shiny packaging so I don't like it that much just because of that but it is a great palette and I have my flare palette this is such a beautiful palette love it and this shade it looks amazing I have a little bit more of Linda Holberg I have the vivid pigments from Colored Rain I have the single ones and I am thinking about doing something more with this because I don't use it that much and I need to use it because this was expensive and it is nice shadows but it's just like I'm not reaching for it but I need to and one of my absolute favorite palettes the Paulina palette from Blush Tribe I love this and I have some more from Linda Holberg and I have Certify as well certify as well and this is one of my absolute favorite rainbow palettes this is a tropical wonders it's an all matte rainbow palette love it hate the weight background though because you see here not good but I love this one and my only thing from line crime the Venus 2 this I love about line crime this is like a grungy palette I have to use this more as well but I like don't never know when to use it but this is so so good and I really like the color story and then I have my two from Colourpop and then I have all my UVS Place and my absolute favorites from UVS Place are absolutely the Tribe I love this this is like a green and orange dream love it this one is one of my favorite shades it's so so nice and of course the Sulu. This was one of the first cut of palettes I got and I love this so so much. This has a really special place in my heart. I love it. I would never get rid of this. Never ever ever. I love this. And this was maybe all the palettes I'm going to show you in my stand here. If you want like more in depth with my palettes just let me know and now I can never know how this was I either need less palettes or more space I'm voting for more space so 
if you want something more with my palettes, like a complete palette collection, and when I show you all the palettes, just let me know. But I can't do it in this video because then it's going to be too long. And also in the window over there I have some palettes. And these are just like my face palettes. So I have this little I have this little highlight tree from Urban Decay. I love the shade in the middle. I have Anastasia Moonchild. I love this one. I love Pink Heart the most and also Lucky Clover. This is so good. I have my contour palette from NYX. I love this one. This is like the only contour shade I use. I think it's called Sculpt. My face things from Nabla. And if you have been here, you know that this is one of my absolute favorite highlighters. This is Baby Glow. I love this. And these are two of my absolute favorite favorite blushes. And then I have a big big C palette with some shadows. Some eyeshadows from Makeup Geek down here. I think all of them are from Makeup Geek and also this one. These are from Menagerie, Sueva, Nabla, Highlight from H&M and this is from Makeup Geek. It's a contour shade. Blushes from Makeup Stores. And yeah, I don't use it this much because I don't really like single shadows and I don't know where to store them, so I need to have some better system because this is ugly and I don't like it. And then if we take this tower, I have some lipsticks. It's mostly from Colourpop, NYX, some from Lynn Holberg, some from Nivine Cosmetics, only one. This is a Swedish brand that is not longer available. I'm sorry, but I didn't clean up here, I see now. Oops. Jeffree Star, and here I have some glosses, my favorite lip gloss. No. Then I have some liquids. This is from Colourpop, my favorite. I have my Colourpop concealer that I really don't like that much. I have some from Menagerie Cosmetics. I also have my eyeshadow base, my concealer that I use under my eyes from H&M, my mascara that I use, some liquid lips, some <laughs> liquid highlighters, uh, lip oil, some glitters, and yeah, that's what I have on top. It's things that don't fit anywhere else. And then I have these drawers. Here is three drawers, and then under I have five drawers. So in the top drawer I have almost all of my Jeffree Stars. I have some minis and two double. I really like this one. This is pumpkin pie. And in the next one I have minis from NYX and Anastasia Beverly Hills, Kat Von D and Lumina. And if you wonder why I have so many minis, it's because I had NYX Lippy Countdown last year, I think. No, 2017. So that's why I have so many minis. And here are some bigger from NYX. And this is Sleek and Kat Von D. And this is NYX as well. Yeah. So, yes. And then in these bigger drawers, this is from Muji. Here I have all my Colourpop lipsticks or my Nabla lipsticks. I love Nabla as you know Body Shop and NYX and I hate this because I don't know how to store this I think Jessica needs to come here and help me with this because I Can't on my own in the next drawer. I have Kat Von D. I love these but I never use these on cameras and camera anymore and then I have Kat Von D, NYX, Kat Von D, Kat Von D, Kat Von D. What and Wild that I don't use on camera either. And NYX, Anastasia and The Body Shop. <laughs> then the further down we came, comes, it's not that organized anymore. And I hate this. Jessica, can you like come yesterday? And here I have NYX, Makeup Store, Milani. Lumine, and this is like a mix of 
lipsticks and lip glosses. Can you see anything? I love these from NYX. This is the liquid suede. And the last chaos drawer. This was supposed to be only lip pens. I have them here as you can see. But then everything just went overboard. <laughs> so I had one from Fenty. And then I have Linda Hallberg. Uh, I have one in my handbag and like lip glosses and some minis and some things that I don't like but yeah <laughs> these are like things that I don't like that much except the Linda Holberg and lip pens and in the last one I have single shadows most of them are from makeup store K, H and M and the rest is makeup store and these I don't use that much but I really love some of them like this was the first eyeshadow I hit pan in. So that was that tower and now we are going into my Alex drawers. And I have five drawers and I don't go to show you all of them because it's not makeup and all. So in the top one I have my falsies. I need to use them more. I have a little scissor and here I have my powder foundation that I really really love from TK and also the brushes that I use. In here I have lippies that I have tried to declutter but they have come back so it's like some from Gerard this is from makeup store and Gerard again and this is from Colourpop this is the ultra matte lippy hate them they are so drying but I still can't get rid of them the next drawer is my backup drawer so here I have a backup of my foundation and backup on my powder foundation, a backup on the moon tears that I don't know if I'm going to keep because I will never use it up, powder from makeup store, a sponge backup, here I have some wet wipes, a little setting spray from Urban Decay and mascara from Urban Decay, that's supposed to be in this one because that's where I have my mascaras and eyeliner backups and here I have like tools like eyebrow knives that I shave my face with some like this if I'm going to try to mix some lipstick I need to use I want to use these and not the container thingy so this is just like my backup drawer and then you are welcome to the chaos these are the others of my palettes so I have two from Urban Decay that I want to declutter but I like can't um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills I love the prism palette I need to use this so much more I love this and I have Urban Decay Nabla I have all my small Linda Holberg palettes and you don't need to ask me which Linda Holberg palettes I own because I own them all. This is the Metallic Mystery 2. And then I have the Balm, Urban Decay, Kat Von D. And this I need to use more. This is Makeup Addiction Flaming Love. I need to use it but I don't know when. And what do we have more? I have my Aurora kit from Anastasia that I don't use that much um, some of my favorite singles these are from Makeup Geek and Nabla and when I'm going somewhere I usually take this because these are the colors I love the most and I have this the ultimist like uh, which way should I go down the Ultimus from Kat Von D. I wanted this so so bad and then everything happened with Kat Von D. I have some Colourpop and this Yes Please. I thought that I was going to love this more. But I just don't. And I have the Mar and the Soul as well. And then I have this one. I, I like the Kat Von D side looks like this but I hate the Too Faced side <laughs> looks like this but I can't like sell half of the palette 
so I keep it. The Queen of Hearts from Color Rain. Love this. Don't use it. It's so bulky. That's why it's in this drawer. This one I don't know why I left because this is the shit. A little holographic eyeshadow palette from H&M. And then I have the Saint and Sinner palette. This is like my absolute favorite palette when it comes to packaging. I think this is so so cool, but yeah. It's Kat Von D. And then I have some... I departed a lot of sleek palettes. I Because I never use them, but I never use them like this, so I don't know why I still have this. I've tried to get rid of it, but I, it's like, it's one to stay with me. And then this one from Makeup Keep and Many MA. This is such a good palette. I really, really like this. And I am about to hit pan in this one, I think. Love this palette so much. Want to use it more, but I don't know if you want to see anything with this. And yeah, that's what that, that was this drawer. If you see something that you want me to do looks with, just tell me and I will see if I can fix it. And then the last two drawers. One is just all my nail polish. Yes, I have a problem, I know. So this is just all my nail po polishes. And in the bottom drawer I have... Sorry. In the bottom drawer... In the bottom drawer I have all of my makeup bags and that was all for my makeup collection i really hope you liked this video i don't know if you want to see it more in depth or not but <laughs> just let me know if it was something you saw that you want to see more i want to reorganize and maybe get some more containers but <laughs> i don't know how i will have everything if i do something big a big change or anything maybe I should do one more makeup collection if you want that but yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one